Microsoft has just rolled out some groundbreaking updates, opening the door to a future where AI agents handle tasks autonomously. They've expanded their AI ecosystem to include tools and agents that aren't just useful, but are genuinely capable of transforming workflows, making them faster, smarter, and far more efficient. And they've done it with a mix of innovation, partnerships, and solid technical groundwork. Their big reveal happened at the Microsoft Ignite conference, where CEO Satya Nadella and other leaders laid out a bold vision for a future where AI doesn't just assist, it acts. These aren't the static tools of yesterday. The new AI agents Microsoft has introduced can operate independently, handling tasks without constant human input. Whether it's reviewing customer returns or streamlining supply chains, these agents are designed to take on repetitive tasks, leaving people free to focus on the more complex parts of their work. Microsoft's approach here is all about customization and accessibility. Their platform now allows businesses to either deploy ready-made agents or create their own tailored solutions. With over 1,800 AI models available in the Azure catalog, companies can bring their own data, choose the models they prefer, and even fine-tune them for specific needs. This is a big deal because businesses don't want to get locked into a single model or system. They want flexibility, and Microsoft seems to have delivered exactly that. The tools they've built around this are impressive. Their no-code and low-code options in Microsoft 365 Copilot mean that even teams without dedicated AI developers can build agents. And for those with more technical expertise, the new agent SDK, currently in preview, opens up advanced possibilities like creating multi-channel agents that can integrate with Microsoft services and third-party platforms. And the list of ready-made agents is just as impressive. For instance, they've introduced an HR-focused agent that can answer common workplace policy questions and even help employees start tasks like leave requests or payroll queries. There's also a facilitator agent that takes real-time notes during meetings and offers summaries as discussions happen. Another standout is the project management agent, which can handle the entire life cycle of a project, from creating plans and assigning tasks to tracking progress and sending updates. One of the most intriguing agents is the interpreter, which can provide real-time translations in Teams meetings in up to nine languages. And it doesn't stop there, it can even simulate a participant's voice during these translations, which is a clever way of keeping things natural in multilingual conversations. Underpinning all of this is Azure AI Foundry, Microsoft's platform designed to simplify AI development. Foundry is all about making things easier for developers and businesses alike. Switching between models has historically been a headache, with every new release often requiring a complete workflow overhaul. Azure AI Foundry fixes this by letting users mix and match models as needed. It allows developers to stick with older models that work well for them, while trying out newer ones from providers like OpenAI, Meta, or Mistral. And speaking of OpenAI, Microsoft hasn't abandoned its strong partnership there. The models developed by OpenAI remain a cornerstone of their offerings, but they've smartly added more options to accommodate businesses that need alternatives. Scott Guthrie, Microsoft's cloud computing chief, emphasized that choice is critical because different models have different strengths. Some are better at providing faster answers, while others excel in more nuanced tasks. On the hardware side, Microsoft isn't pulling any punches either. Last year, they debuted their first in-house AI chips, and now they've unveiled two new pieces of hardware that are set to power these advancements. The first is a security microprocessor designed to protect sensitive data like encryption keys. Starting next year, all new servers in Microsoft's data centers will include this chip. The second is a data processing unit, or DPU, which boosts how efficiently data moves within networks and between servers and AI chips. These DPUs are a direct challenge to NVIDIA's offerings, but Microsoft believes its version is more efficient, which is crucial given the size and complexity of today's AI models. The company's push into agentic AI also reflects how the landscape is shifting. Traditional large language models like those behind ChatGPT or Microsoft's own Copilot have limits. They're excellent at writing tasks, but often struggle with planning or taking autonomous action. Microsoft's agents are designed to bridge that gap by combining the predictive power of LLMs with tools that can reason, act, and even operate autonomously when needed. Some early use cases have already shown promising results. McKinsey & Company has collaborated with Microsoft to develop an agent for onboarding clients. This tool has cut lead times by 90%, 
and reduced administrative work by 30%, which is a massive efficiency gain for such a time-intensive process. Similarly, Thomson Reuters has created an agent to streamline the legal due diligence process. By integrating advanced reasoning with its AI tool co-counsel, it's managed to cut several steps in these workflows by at least 50%. But Microsoft's AI journey isn't exactly new. They've been exploring conversational AI for years, but the integration of agents with large language models represents a significant leap forward. Before, conversation data often existed in silos, making it difficult to derive actionable insights. Now, with these tools, users can pull intelligence from various sources effortlessly and in real time. This isn't just about making tools more powerful, it's about making them intuitive and natural to use. As Microsoft's corporate VP Lily Chang put it, most companies don't have huge AI or development teams. They need tools that anyone can use without getting bogged down by technical complexity. That's where low-code and no-code options come in, enabling teams to build solutions without needing deep expertise. Another layer to this story is Microsoft's growing investment in high-quality data for training its AI models. Recently, they struck a deal with HarperCollins to access select non-fiction titles for training purposes. Authors can opt in if they wish, ensuring transparency and choice in how their work is used. Microsoft has clarified that these texts will only be used for training models, not for generating new books without human involvement. And while Microsoft is making huge strides, not everyone is on board with their approach. Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff recently took a jab at Microsoft's pivot, calling it a rebranding effort and labeling their flagship co-pilot a flop. It's a sharp critique, but it highlights the competition heating up in the AI space, especially as companies race to dominate the agentic AI landscape. Microsoft, however, seems to be taking the long view. By investing in both cutting-edge hardware and flexible software, they're positioning themselves as a one-stop shop for businesses looking to integrate AI into their operations. And with the sheer scale of their Azure platform, currently used by 60,000 customers, there's a solid foundation to build on. At its core, Microsoft's strategy is about choice, efficiency, and accessibility. Whether it's through agents that automate repetitive tasks, tools that simplify app development, or hardware that powers complex models, they're covering all bases. And while the technology behind it all is undeniably complex, the aim is to make it seamless for the end user. In Chung's words, the goal is to build tools so intuitive that users don't even notice the complexity happening in the background. The future Microsoft is envisioning isn't far off. With advancements in autonomous agents, flexible AI development, and high-performance hardware, they're setting a new standard for what AI can do in both work and life. It's clear they're not just keeping up with the competition, they're defining the next chapter of the AI story. All right, let me know what you think in the comments, and if you enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe for more AI updates. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.